whether you're new to the sport and not quite ready to commit to a more expensive goggle, or you're just trying to be smarter with your finances this season, I'm Tyler and I wanna to talk to you about our top picks in snow goggles under $100. So I wanna let you know what our top picks are, what you can expect out of them to see if they are right for you. Uh, if you notice, I have two offset here. I actually did throw in some honorable mentions, just a little bit over a hundred bucks. I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, but let's start with our top picks under a hundred bucks. We have uh, in ascending order, uh, price wise, we have the Smith Frontier. We can't be talking about uh, snow goggles without talking about Smith, that's for sure. And they have a really good budget friendly goggle here, the Frontier. This starts at 50 bucks, uh, so amazingly affordable. Obviously, you can't be expecting to get all of the top tier features because those are reserved for top tier goggles, which are also top tier price points, but you still get an awesome goggle if you're looking to just get probably just a few seasons out of it, I would say. When it comes to size, this is in a small to medium fit. You are not gonna get Chromapop, unfortunately. Again, it is a budget-friendly goggle, uh, and you are getting a single layer foam. If you are new to the sport, you're not really sure what to expect out of snow goggles. Those top tier snow goggles typically have three layers of foam. It's gonna be a layer for structure, a layer for uh, for uh, circulation, for ventilation, and then a layer for, uh, that's a moisture wicking fleece type layer that's super comfortable. Uh, this is very comfortable. It's extremely soft, but it is only one layer, uh, but it is nice and thick. Really straightforward goggle. As you can see, a full rimmed goggle and you have venting around the entire goggle all around it. And they do have their, uh, whatever they call their their webbing design, the, the venting channel structure just to make it comfortable, but also rigid. Uh, I'll throw this on real quick, just so you can see what it looks like on the face. I'm probably uh, more of a medium face, solid medium. So this actually fits me pretty decently well. Uh, don't mind how it looks on me without like a helmet and uh, I'm wearing a freaking button up t-shirt, but whatever. Uh, so it's comfortable. It's it's a great straightforward goggle again at an amazing price point. Uh, next up, we have a Giro. This is aimed more at a, probably youth, I think is what they target it as, but also if you just happen to have a smaller head, this is awesome. Again, starts at that $50 price point. Again, really straightforward goggle, looks pretty cool. They have some pretty unique, cool colorways. Uh, and this actually has a dual layer foam. So you have uh, that single layer there uh, that is similar to the Smith but then you do have that nice micro fleece, which makes contact with your skin that is also moisture wicking, which is really nice to have. That can also help with fogging as well. It's gonna help to minimize fogging if it's getting the moisture off of your face uh, and away from the goggle, that certainly helps. And good venting as well, not full, no, pretty close to full perimeter venting actually. You got it on the sides and on the bottom. Uh, really solid goggle, just also really quite small. I can throw this on here as well, why not? And you'll see that it looks pretty, uh, probably comically small on me. So if you have an average size face or even maybe like a small to average, it's probably gonna be too small for you. Uh, but something to be aware of if you have an extra small face or if you're shopping for your little one. Uh, before I get too much into this, I do wanna also point out another option that you should be considering if you're a prescription wearer. Uh, I know this is good, kind of getting into, you know, adding on to the price a little bit, but if you're a prescription wearer, uh, I don't think any of these are OTG. I should have looked into that. No, one of these, I'll, I'll talk about that one uh, here in a moment, but this prescription insert is amazing. You don't have to worry about fussing with jamming your glasses into your goggle. You don't have to worry about the frustration that contacts can be on the mountain if you're new. Maybe you're unaware of this, it, the weather, the the airflow through the goggle as it's designed, as I was mentioning, ventilation, uh, it pushes air through the goggle and it can dry out your contacts even faster, which makes it so that you don't wanna spend as long on the mountain because you wanna get your contacts out. This is an awesome solution. If you're a prescription wearer, don't sleep on this. We have tons of more videos if you want more information on that, you can check that out. But we design them, we manufacture them, not only as snow enthusiasts, snowboarder skiers, but also as opticians. I think that's super important when you're making a prescription insert to be an optician, like have an optical mind when you're talking about prescription, uh, is something that is to hold a prescription lens. Anyway, I digress, but importantly, I think. Next up, we have a Dragon. This is the DX3 OTG. You don't need to worry about that. Again, I did say I would call out OTG. So this is technically an OTG goggle. It's huge. It gives you a little bit of extra uh, area here that, that the foam can compress a bit more to accommodate a frame. 
If you're like me and you like big glasses, that can be a problem. That's another reason that I think the inserts are awesome. But anyway, this is an option for you as an OTG. This is a cylindrical lens. I haven't been talking much about that and I should have been. All of these actually are cylindrical, except for when we get into those uh, honorable mentions. Cylindrical just means it curves this way and this way it is flat. Uh, which is more traditional way of doing goggles, which is something you're gonna find a lot more commonly on more budget-friendly goggles. This is a pretty solid budget-friendly goggle, all things considered. Uh, it actually does have Dragon's Lens technology, which is called Luma Lens. So you are getting a color enhancing lens technology that's going to help boost your color perception, boost your, your perception of the terrain, the snow. You can read it a lot better. Just a better experience out on the mountain. Uh, this also does have a dual layer foam. So this is something that is gonna be a little bit more comfortable. It is moisture wicking. Uh, by the way, this starts at the $70 price point uh, a huge amount of peripheral this guy is crazy wide it's a huge wide lens so you have a ton of peripheral lots of venting lots of great venting uh, and it's more of a solid medium fit I would say even medium to large because feeling I'm, I can it feels big there's a lot of lens here and it's a ton of lens real estate for that peripheral vision. So awesome goggle, really good option for uh, something that is bud uh, budget friendly if you're looking for something that's at medium and I would say even medium to large. Next up, Spy, this is the Woot. Awesome goggle, again, this guy starts at $70. Uh, it is about a medium fit. Cool thing to note, this does come with a bonus lens. You aren't getting their happy tech, but it is still an awesome goggle and it's cool to get two lenses. And that's something that's not very typical in a budget friendly goggle. They're going to skip that bonus lens for you so that you can save a little bit of extra money. Uh, but this guy comes with it. And what you're going to get with that is a lens that's good for brighter light conditions and then a lens good for lower light conditions, cloudy conditions, snowy conditions. You can still go out and have fun on the mountain. Uh, with this, you're getting their scoop ventilation system. So really good ventilation uh, around almost the entire goggle, but plenty of uh, plenty of real estate there for that venting. Also triple layer foam, which is pretty cool. So you're getting that triple layer foam that I mentioned earlier, that moisture wicking fleece that makes contact with your face. Really good option at a great price point. Last but certainly not least in this, we have an Oakley, which is awesome. The target line. I think this is the only goggle that they have. <sighs> I should know this. They might have some other budget friendly ones, uh, but this is definitely the best of their budget friendly ones. Virtually every other goggle they have is just fully top tier because they make really good stuff. Uh, but you are getting some top tier options here. The only thing you're losing out on with the target line is the prism lens technology. But this starts at $73, awesome price point, medium to large fit, great style, full frame design, really looks, uh, I mean, just like a good classic goggle and oh man, it's, it feels so, uh, comparable actually to the DX3, how much I feel, uh, the goggle across my head. It's big. Uh, it doesn't feel oversized though. This feels like it actually fits me a little better. So probably a solid medium. If you're large, you could probably fit this as well. When it comes to sizing, snow goggles are pretty forgiving. Uh, something just to keep in mind, unless it's really way too small, then it'll be uncomfortable. But this is a really solid goggle. Target line, check this guy out. Uh, I love it. So now for those honorable mentions, first off, we have 100%. If you're familiar with 100%, it's because they make awesome motocross goggles. They also make awesome sunglasses, uh, both sport and lifestyle sunglasses. They're finally in the snow goggle worlds, which is cool because they make really good goggles. This is the Ocon. It is $110, so a little bit over that uh, $100 marker, uh, but you're getting some more premium features, which is awesome. You are not getting a bonus lens, but you are getting their lens technology, which is called Hyper, which again is a lens that's tuned for snow conditions to make it easier to read the mountain, make it easier to read the ins and outs of the snow, and again, just have a better day out on the mountain. So not a bonus lens, but you do get their technology. Uh, and again, a really straightforward looking goggle. This is, uh, yeah, it's cylindrical. Thought there was a chance that it might've been torqued, but this is a cylindrical goggle as well. Full frame, again, tons of venting, really solid style. Uh, again, just a straightforward design. With these more budget friendly goggles, you're going to find more straightforward designs as opposed to those, uh, you know, kind of more stylish. I might not, I shouldn't even probably say that, but 
that's what I've found anyway. Really straightforward goggle, awesome, 100%. I'm glad to see them in the snow world. And then last but not least, and the honorable mentions, we have a goggle company that I feel like does not get as much love as they deserve. This is the Zeal Nomad. Uh, this is about a medium fit as well. Again, awesome uh, ventilation. You do get triple layer foam. If I didn't mention that on the 100%, you also get triple layer foam on this. I might have, I might not have. Uh, but triple layer foam on the Nomad. This guy starts at 109. It goes all the way up to 250 though. So depending on what lens combination, what lens uh, options you go with, because you can get a bonus lens that is an option, but you don't have to, and you can save some money if you don't go with a bonus lens. You also have cool technology with Zeal, like their uh, polarized lenses, also their polarized photochromic lenses, which means that they get darker or lighter depending on the light conditions. But again, that's gonna be for when you have a beefier budget or when you're okay with uh, spending a little bit more. But you could get this goggle at, at as low as $109. Really awesome goggle and you are getting all of their uh, technologies potentially uh, with this goggle, including their Everclear Anti-Fog and their Permashield Hard, Perma Shield hard Coat. It's a mouthful, uh, which means that it is, uh, the anti-fog coating on the backside is actually a hard coat. And so it doesn't wipe off. It's not something you have to worry about fussing with nearly as much awesome goggle. And so that wraps it up. I, I think this is a pretty good list for you to be able to pick out an ideal goggle for you at a really friendly budget. Now that you know our top picks for goggles under 100 and even a couple others a little bit over that, you should check out our video that we did on the top picks for snow goggle lens colors. It's good stuff there too. If you like this, if it was helpful, throw us a like because that helps us out. Also subscribe. We have great content just like this, tons more content, everything eyewear related, and we'd love you to come along with us as we do more. Also check us out on our social media outlets because I think you would enjoy that too. Thank you for watching.